Is everyone ready to go? Sh sure. You're shaking, Carol. Confronting the big cheese of a major guild about his involvement with the Great War is pretty intimidating. Come on, he's a normal person, just like us. There's nothing to be afraid of. What? Carol, you just don't know when to give up, do you? My, Patty, you've got nerves of steel. You're sure the brave one, Missy. I'm impressed. I'm just doing my best to be strong. You don't have to come if you don't want to, Estelle. I can't back down anymore. I don't want to. I want to know about myself. About who I really am. Sounds like you're ready to go. So then, let's go see Bellius. Just my imagination? Oh, 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 that's going to cause some trouble. The hunting guild is here as well. What is up, heroes, and welcome back to some more Tales of Vesperia. Right now, about to go see Bellius. And we might get into a few altercations here and there. But we are ready for it. So, as it's the night of the full moon, we can now see Bellius. We've come to meet with Bellius. You're... Oh, weren't you the emissary sent by Don Whitehorse? Yep, it's a bit urgent, so if you wouldn't mind letting me through. You may enter. However, I must ask the rest of you to withdraw. What? But why? Are you trying to say we can't be trusted or something? I'm afraid that is what it amounts to. But you can trust that we'll be even more tight-lipped than a giant clam. For sure. Let them pass. Duce, but I... I have spoken. Now that's more like it. Yes, Duce. I ask only that you not speak of anything you see here to anyone. Not speak of what we see? This is one of Polistrale's guild laws. Okay then, we promise. Our leader, Bellius, is waiting just ahead. Oh ho ho. Wonder what she looks like. Wow, these stairs like never ending. <laughs> can we go in these rooms? Bellius' room. Let's just double check we can go in these rooms first, just in case we can pick something up. No, you can't go in there. Okay. Just had a double check, just in case you know you can pick up like a item or a bit of equipment or something like that. You never know. Alright, here we go. Hey! What's going on? Everybody's still here? Yes. Uh, a monster! And here I had secret hopes we'd get a gourmet meal out of this. Wasn't expecting a trap. This isn't a trap. She is... Bellius? The very same. I am Bellius, Duce of Nordopolica, and founder of Palastrale. Didn't see this coming. So you can speak our language as well. You encountered Pharaoh some time ago, did you not? I would not think then that our ability to use your tongue should come as a surprise. So you're an Antilochia too? That is so. Th then the ancient race that built this city was... My brethren and I. If this city was built hundreds and hundreds of years ago, that would mean... Indeed. We have governed this city for ages. Wow! That's amazing! Good old Don. How nice of him to keep me in the dark on this. And who might you be? A humble servant of Don Whitehorse. I've got a letter for you from him. I've known that old badger too long to be surprised by who he knows. But just how are you connected? I am indebted to him for his assistance during the Great War. The Great War? 
So the rumors that you were one of the masterminds behind it are true? <laughs> well, I did participate in the war. However, I never exceeded that which my duty as an Intellikea required. The Great War was fought against the Entelikea. At any rate, my acquaintance with the Dawn dates from those times. I have long lamented that a man of his talent was not born instead as one of my race. That's the first I've heard the old man had anything to do with the Great War. It is a subject he takes little pleasure in discussing. The Dawn has requested my mediation in the current trouble with Pharaoh. It would seem that even a man of his strength cannot stand against my brother's assault upon his city. Such a request cannot lightly be brushed aside. <sighs> Glad to see you're so reasonable. So some of you tear down cities and some of you run guilds. You Antelike are definitely... interesting. The same might be said of you humans, I would imagine. Aye, that'd be true. Now then, this letter is not the sole reason for your visit, is it, child of the full moon? You know about Estelle? We in Telekea can sense the child of the full moon. My name is Estelles. I have to know, what exactly is the child of the full moon? Pharaoh called me an insipid poison, but what does that mean? Hmm. I know not whether your fate may be swayed by such knowledge, but... Bellius, listen. Judith? Hmm. Is there something of which I should be aware? Pharaoh is... What the hell's all that racket? At last, we found you, Antilochea! Leader of monsters! Origin of evil! Tyson! Boss! Well, if it isn't Carol and friends, you've got some twisted tastes hanging out with freaks like this! Keeping monsters to use in your Colosseum? You're an enemy of humanity, and now you die! You're pretty barbaric for a friend of Carol's. Who the hell is this little brat? Unfortunately, I don't give my name to rapscallions. Huh. As if I really care. Where's Nan? Curious, huh? She should be leading the raid on the remaining monsters in the Colosseum about now. We hunting blades give no quarter to any who would obstruct the justice we meet out, humans or no. If you won't attack, then I'll make the first move, beast. It seems these men will not be stayed, lest I take arms against them. It is asking much of you, but please help Nats. What about you? I am not to be outdone by mere humans. Gotcha. Let's get out of here. Good luck. Guess it's not just yet then. I could have sworn we have a fight with Bilius, but oh well. Who do they think they are? What a bunch of total clods. I thought the knights were the ones who had business in Nordopolica. I never would have guessed we'd end up running into the hunting blades. What are they all doing here? Don't know exactly, but you can be sure it's got to do with Bellius. Could it be that the knights, I mean Flynn, came because of Bellius as well? We'll have to ask the Duce. For now though, we gotta see if we can get things under control. Okay. No, oh, no, don't want to battle you guys. Sh oh, okay, but I should be all right. From behind. Oh man. Right. Oh, what do you learn? Oh, Ghost Wolf. And everyone's learning stuff today. Maybe like we fight. I know there's a boss battle of fighting. Tyson and uh, Nan at some point. Maybe that's next? I could have sworn it was Bellius next. But these guys, oh my god, we're like everything destroying these guys. Whew. I kind of feel bad for them. Out the way. Okay, there you go. Awful. Could 
man have done this? You all right? Nats has gone to defend the Colosseum from the hunting blades. Please, you gotta help him. Wait, I'll... If only we'd come sooner. This is not the time for regrets. We've got to go help that Nats guy. Yeah, which means going up. The only way is up. The Coliseum is now under the authority of the Hunting Blades. Withdraw immediately. Nan, you've got to stop. Carol, what are you doing here? You know that fights between guilds are strictly forbidden by the Union. What are you talking about? This job was commissioned to us directly by the Union itself. What? Harry, what are you doing here? Hey, isn't that someone from the Union we met in Dongrest? That's the Don's grandson, Harry. The Don's grandson? Just what in blazes is going on here, son? You're under the same orders from the Don yourself, right? To locate Apathea? Sure, but what does that have to do with all the commotion here? Judith! What's the matter? There! Nuts! Come on! Damn it! I wasn't done with him! Wait! I thought I ordered you to withdraw! Raven is with them, and he's an ally. Let them be! Nan! <sighs> Down to your last friend? Why not play with us for a while? More of Bellius's minions, huh? We're brave, Vesperia! I don't care how brave you are! Death to those who side with the monsters! <laughs> okay, how brave you are. Whoop whoop, be brave. Still, I'll make this quick. I guy looks pretty cool. Look at that, I like his sword. Ooh, shining dragon swing. Nice. Okay, fine, we fine. Might play around with the uh, the art soon, just put some new ones on. Hey, hey, no. Leave us that alone. Okay, good. Oh, lucky it's though, just missed. Oh, and I just missed as well. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't just miss, I missed a lot. Oh wow, this mage actually pretty tough. Man, these guys are just going crazy. These are the <sighs> Looks like we got here in time. You must be a healer. I wonder if Bellius is okay. Ah! Doge! Nats! You are unhurt! You would yet challenge me, humans? Your kind is the root of all evil. The root of evil? Bellius? You got it all wrong. Just look. All monsters serve evil. They must be hunted down. It, it is up to us. To the hunting blades. These idiots have got rocks for brains. You, you monsters are all alike. Judy. Dolce. Heal you. You mustn't. Your power is. No. Well, what can this mean? She reacted to Estelle's formula? But this is. <laughs> What's going on? I was too late. What have I done? If this keeps up, it'll bring down the Coliseum. Please 
Please control yourself, don't say. We have no choice but to try and stop her with force. But we're dead if we hold anything back against someone like this. I can't believe this. But it doesn't look like we have a choice. Elias. Estelle, wake up. Right. Here she comes. That's it. Kill now we fight Bellius. So, let's call it using a magic lens, almost forgot. So, this is actually pretty easy, this secret mission. Sorry, but I'm not Ow. Right, let's set some arts. We need to um, use Destruction Field, because it's got the fire effect. But you can do it with Reader as well, if you just use um, you know, Fireball. You see the candles on the outside? Uh, at some point, they're gonna go unlit. Just go and light them back up. Easy, right? I love the music here. What is my power? The poison that Feral talked about. Oof. Oh, look at that damage, man! Yeah, we'll use an over a minute a little bit. Yeah, let's just go for it now. Now the lights are out. And you got a dupe. Okay. So I said it's just normal one, so let's target that. Come on. No. This is gonna be once easier. Stop attacking it, just need to there you go. And last one. Nope, that is not the right. Oh Nope, just okay, come on. Let me just there you go. Are all lights on? Oh, lock and light went out. Gotta be quick. I've got no more TP. Great. <laughs> it's so bad because we like, took so long so we kept getting hit. There you go. All around. Or all around, I should say. My power is gone. Strike now. Okay. This is dangerous. And now we can just destroy. Oh, should really just? I'm just gonna do it. Oh, I hate when this goes down. Uh, 29,000 HP left. <laughs> yeah, block a few attacks if I can. Ouch. Or not. Oh wow, wow, wow. She just kind of went in. Is that life ball? Come on, one of you. Yep, get a stale, and now a stale resurrection. Oh, dude. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, oh, stop falling on the floor. There you go. Oh, that got really close. It over? It's my fault. I 
It's over. Duce, no! What now? I never thought this would happen. I'm sorry. I... Worry not. You were thinking only of saving me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just... Power corrupts. But you... You are different. Never lose that kindness. The compassion you so readily show to others. Now, go to Pharaoh. If you would learn of your destiny. To Pharaoh? That's... There is much I owe you. Do not harbor a grudge toward these people. Duce! No! Wait! No, I beg you, don't go! Bellius. Farewell. This is... Is this the same as what was in the case from the ghost ship? Anapatheia! What does that mean? Convey my soul, this cyano seal, to my ally. Don White Horse. So, this must have been what Harry meant. Humans, we'll be taking that stone. Is this what you guys were after? Hope you don't think we'll just let it go. Then, we'll just have to pound on you until you do. That's enough! Everyone throw down your weapons! Damn, look who's here. You! Take anyone still standing in the Coliseum into custody. We're gonna wind up in chains if we don't blow this scene. But we haven't done anything to warrant being arrested. I don't think they'd have any trouble cooking up a reason to put us behind bars. You're right. Escape is our best option. I've secured an escape! Hurry! Okay, we're getting out of here for now. No, I... I don't want to go anywhere. My power... It really is a poison. I, I thought I could help her, but... I only brought about her death! Move. Okay. Wait. Bellius, how could something like this happen? There was still so much we needed to ask. Yeah. Think of all the knowledge that only an Entelakea would have. Not to mention her perspective as the Duce of Palestrale. Why couldn't we have met her sooner? Yuri. Right, time to cheese it. And if we can, maybe heal up. Wait, while we're here. Yeah, we've got a little bit of time for some shopping. Need some life bottles because we used a lot in that battle. Or well, five. Maybe more, maybe less, I don't know. Well, not more, but maybe less. I don't know. This place is swarming with knights. We've no choice but to go out through the harbor then. But what if the harbor's blockaded too? Well, the Weasand of Kados is blocked off. If we have to get out of here, I'd say breaking out through the harbor is our best bet. Ah! Escaping by sea might be better, yes! Exactly. Sorry, Patty, but can I ask you to pilot the ship? Aye, aye. Leave it to me. Time to show you what I can do. I hope it's actually got a new Sarah's Blastia, though. Perfect. Then I'll handle the Blastia. Hey, where's the old man? You don't need to worry about him. He'll turn up soon enough. Right. He's the sort of guy who shows up as soon as you start to feel relieved he's gone. 
Yuri Lowell. This is the end of the line. Lady Estelise, you must return with us. Captain Flynn is worried about you. But I... Estelle's not going back with you. All right, let's hurry to the harbor. All right, and now <laughs> that guy's just like, yep, I don't see anything. And so is that one. <laughs> I don't see nothing. Uh oh. Flynn, looks like we can't put one over on this guy. Return Lady Estelise and the stone. Flynn, what do you want with the Apatheia? So the knights are trying to get a hold of this thing too. That's why the hunting blades were here. It's like what that guy in Normgen said. The Apatheia brings only chaos to humanity, so it's true. Hand it over. Whoa! Is he serious? Just what the hell are you doing? Using the military to get control of the city? That's taking things a bit far. Maybe you're carrying out your duty. You can't just go around doing everything by force. Captain, awaiting orders. I thought you were with the Knights to change things like that. I don't know why I'm the one who has to be saying this stuff. You know it full well yourself. <sighs> Cat got your tongue? I mean, how's this any different from what I've come to expect from the Empire? Are you gonna follow Rago and Kumor's examples? If I did, would you just kill me as well? Would you do away with me like you did Rago and Kumor? Huh? What is he... If you go and become a villain, you won't be giving me much choice. Yuri? You mind saving this charming little squabble for another time? We're sort of in a hurry, right? <laughs> Come on! Captain! What was Flynn saying about Yuri and Rago? Save it! You men, raise the anchor! Yeah, man. Raise the anchor. Raven! Where did you come from? Don't suppose it'd be too much trouble to take one more with us. Hey! That's the guy! You're that dragon freak! Judy, wait! Goodbye. Judith? Why? Why? Our genius mage has given the Ceres Blastia her undivided attention. Sounds like the core on the new Blastia is pretty much totaled. It's a good thing we had that merchant lady change the Ceres Blastia for us. That's Kaufman for you. She always goes above and beyond in keeping her word. So luckily we still have the old Blastia around. Either way, looks like we'll be drifting out here for now. Looks that way. I'm worried about the ship's heading. I'll go check it out. 
What are Carol and Estelle up to? They're a bit down in the dumps. Why don't you go check in on them? You'd probably be better at cheering them up, old man. You know I'm not cut out for that stuff. Guess I've had a hand in dampening the mood around here, too. Might as well see how they're doing. I knew Judy's secret would get out someday, but not like this. A little heads up would have been nice. I don't know what to think about anything anymore. Just gonna happen all of a sudden. <laughs> all right, let's quickly save it. Just lost like the best character in the game. All right, I think I have to speak to everyone, not just uh, Estelise and Carol, but we'll see. Ah, there you are, boy. You sure have your own way of doing things, old man. Then again, I guess it's your only redeeming quality. Hey. Way to hurt a man's feelings. I've got a ton of redeeming qualities. That's one list you can just keep to yourself. I have to tell you, I was so surprised to find out that Bellius was that beast. Sorry, I mean Entelikea, was it? Yeah, but it seems like the story about her engineering the Great War was a lie. Probably just an excuse the Empire made up for them to invade Nordopolica. Maybe, yeah. So is that the Don's grandson? How'd he end up here, anyway? This idiot got fed false information by Leviathan's claw and acted without thinking. I heard that an ally of the Dons had been captured by a monster, and I thought I'd come to save him. And then, I heard that the monster possessed Abathea, so... They said that Bellius had been captured? Apparently that's what Leviathan's claw said. So they went down there with the hunting blades to kill the monster. And that monster was actually Bellius, so even though you got the Apatheia, the ally you were supposed to save ended up dying. Yeah. You need to learn to take things slower. Check your information before you rush out all ready for battle. Damn it! What the hell do you know? Things like this happen, I guess. Having the Don for a grandfather puts a lot of pressure on the boy. Anyone with a grandfather like that would be expected to work their butt off, yeah. Everyone expects too much of him. So he works hard not to let anyone down. Palastrale is not going to be too happy about this. Even if he didn't have any choice but to fight, I doubt they'll take that for an excuse. That Nats guy should forgive us, I think. That would be nice, but Nats isn't the Duce. It's the others in the guild we have to worry about. Well, I don't know how to get out of this mess. For now, I'm going to take him to see the Don. Take the ship to Dongrest as soon as it's working again, would you? Gotcha. I actually do know how to get out of this, but an eye for an eye. It's a matter between guilds, after all. Raven's so smart. <laughs> but wonder why. Ooh. I was okay with taking out bad people on my own. I couldn't tell the others. Not before with Estelle, and not now. I gotta face up to the choices I've made. It's been weighing on Carol, too. Who knows what'll happen to brave Vesperia. So many things to deal with. I'm a little mixed up. Sorry for dragging you around, repeat. Right. There's nothing else to be sorry about after all these years. <laughs> okay, so what should we start with? Before anything else, we'll need to have the ship moving. Right, Rita next. Does it look like it'll be okay? Oh, well, it's pretty bad. Jeez, this isn't usable at all. Damn it. I can't believe that Judith was... Why was she with us in the first place? That dragon, Baul, right? It attacked us back in Hellior, didn't it? You've got a good memory. That's not the sort of thing I easily forget. Do you think they were going after Estelle back then? Yes, she knew. She knew about Estelle. You didn't already know that she was that dragon freak, did you? Yeah. Damn it, I can't believe you! We all have our reasons for what we've done. You and Judy both. You mean... And me too, of course. You mean Rago and Kumor? Huh. I don't care much about what happened to them. What you did may have been a crime, but if you ask me... Though the severity of the crime may differ, there's no such thing as someone suspected without cause. Are you saying the same goes for you? Who knows? I mean, even that woman was... 
Judy was a loyal member of our party. That's how it looked to me, at least. Yeah, that's true, but if she had just shared what she knew about the child of the full moon and about the Entelikea, Estelle's problems might already have been solved by now. It depends, doesn't it? Pharaoh told her she was poison after all. You know, it's possible she knew where Pharaoh was from the very beginning. Yeah, maybe so. Either way, I'll never forgive her for breaking that blastia. Well then, if Judy comes back, you can feel free to beat her up. She's not coming back. Hmm, I couldn't say. Alright, Penny, then Carol, then Estelise. I mean, Carol's gonna be the most heartbreaking one. How's the ship heading? Hmm, apparently we're being pushed north by the current. I see. Sorry for making you come all the way out here with us. Don't worry about it. This was my plan from the beginning, anyway. Well, I'm happy that we've got someone who knows how to pilot a ship, but you've got to go treasure hunting to get your memory back, right? That's okay. I'm just gonna take it easy. Life's longer than a bright red eel's ear or a slimy eel's body. Well, that's better than living life fast and recklessly. Besides, it ain't bad being here with you, Yuri. I'm glad to hear that. When I think about that, I start feeling like maybe my past doesn't really matter. But that doesn't mean you're gonna quit searching for your memories, does it? I... I'd like to know more about my grandfather, so I can figure out what I'm going to do in the future, and how I should think about the name Ivory. I see. Then I guess you can't stay with us forever, huh? I... but I've realized that there are many more good things when I'm with others than when I'm by myself. So, when my memory returns, I'd like to travel with all of you again. Yeah, if we get the chance, that might not be a bad idea. When that time comes, maybe Judy can also. I don't know. Judy has her own reasons for not being able to be with us. I hope your reasons haven't changed by then, though. Hope your reasons haven't changed by then, though. Yeah. Oh, Yuri! What's the matter? You look more serious than usual. Yeah. I was just thinking about how hard it is to put a guild together. I thought things might go okay since I was with you guys, but... Have you lost faith in your ability to lead the guild? No, not at all. I'm working as hard as I can. All right, but I'll borrow from your attitude and do the best I can too. Hey, Yuri, can I ask you something? Yeah? Is it true that you... that you killed Rago and Kimor? It's true. How could you keep that from me? I kept meaning to tell you. I'm sorry. Even though I think it's bad, you don't regret killing them, do you? Yeah, I don't. I just don't know. Flynn and Estelle were trying to bring them to justice, too. Did you really have to kill them? I think there are some things that you have to do. Even if they're a crime, someone has to do them. Even if it means taking the blame. Maybe so, but... I just did what had to be done. You shouldn't force yourself to try to accept what I did. Yeah. Can you see anything? I don't see anything at all. After what happened to Bellius. And with Judith breaking our Blastia and running away. I just don't know what to think anymore. Oh, yeah? And then you went and cut your arm like that. <laughs> that was painful. It's not funny. But you healed me. I couldn't just ignore you, could I? I can't just ignore someone who's injured in front of me. So what are you all rattled about? Don't you remember? Relius said to take good care of your kind nature. My power is the reason that the Entelikea hate me, isn't it? What's with you being able to use magic without Blastia? Even if I make an effort not to use my power on the Entelikea to them, I'll still be evil. That's why Pharaoh was trying to kill me. But Belia said you should try to meet Pharaoh, didn't she? Yeah, in order to discover my destiny. But I wonder, is that really right? No, that can't be. I'm the one who'll decide my destiny. Now you've got the idea. Okay, so that's everyone spoken to. What are we doing? Already speaking back to Patty again to see what's happening. Or we go down and sleep, maybe?
Yeah, that's so what we're going down. It's always rest. When you speak to everyone, it's just, just have a nice little nap. Well, I've finished making adjustments to the Blastia. I've checked all the other parts too. Everything's ready. That's great. We'll be able to use the boat again. If you don't mind, I'd like to bring Harry back to Dongris first. We need to head to Dongris too. Right. We've got to deliver Bellius' Apatheia. Why don't you let old Raven take care of that for you? What do you say? We couldn't ask that of you. Oh, that hurts. Still can't trust me after all we've been through, huh? It wasn't a formal request, but I feel we should honor Bellius' dying wish. It would be unjust if we didn't deliver it. Yeah. Besides, we're also at fault for Bellius ending up like she did. We've got to own up to what we've done. The Dawn also might know why everyone wants these Apatheas so badly. He was trying to get his hands on one too, don't forget. If we can learn more about the Apatheia, we might find out why Flynn's been using such extreme measures. Well then, I'll make sure to set things up with the Dawn for you. Really? A wiser man than I once said, even chance acquaintances are decreed by destiny. If it's meant to be, I don't mind putting in the effort for brave Vesperia. I'm going to meet with the Dawn too. You too, Rita? A lot has happened, and I get the feeling it's all connected to this Apatheia somehow. So... It was the Don that told us to go find the Apatheia in the first place. He just might have something up his sleeve. So, Rita, you're with us as far as Dongrest? I'm going to Dongrest too. Because going with us is profitable? Well, as long as you're piloting the ship, this works out well for us too. It's not just that. I'm going because it sounds like there might be clues about my memory in Dongrest. Didn't you say that the Dawn in Dongrest was a friend of Ifried's? Hmm? Oh yeah, I was talking about how Ifried and the Dawn worked together when they fought the Empire. Then the Dawn might be able to give me some clues about my memory. Well, if that's the case, then let's travel together. Jeez, that old geezer sure is popular. I hope he doesn't get so busy that he faints. That only leaves Estelle. I think she needs some time alone. I agree. I wonder when we'll see Judith again. Hey, once we've delivered the Apatheia, let's go see if we can find her. That's not a bad idea. Besides, she broke the guild laws, and you know we can't just let that slide. Right. At least not without hearing her reason. But first up is Dongrest. There'll be a stretch of beach along the southern edge of Tolbikia where we can lay anchor. I'd wager that'd put us as close to Dongrest as we could hope. Okay, sounds like we've got our destination. All right, so Dongress is, I think, just up a bit. There's the bridge. On the bridge, the uh, I know where it is. It's fine. So if we go through here, there's the bridge because we're gonna go around this way. And this should get us to Dawn. Where is that Dongress there or is that No, that's Heliord. This is Dongress here. And there's a bridge for us. Perfect. Try and avoid some of these battles, please. one with me and pay the Don a visit. These things usually take a while, so why not hang tight at the inn? Wait, can... can I come with you? Hmm? This is union business. Not sure you'll have much to talk about. I... actually... there's something else I wanted to ask. Can't it wait till you bring the Apatheia with everybody else? It's... I'd rather ask it on my own. If it's not too complicated, go and give it a try. I can't make any promises, just so you know. Thanks! I'll be right back, guys! Do you think we could ask about the Apatheia as well? Mm, that qualifies as complicated. You've got that right. Hey, wait up! Where do you think you're going? 
I've been to this city before, I think. That again? Well, this city does have a history with Ifrid. It wouldn't have been strange for your grandfather to have come here. That's true. I'm going to go ask around a bit. Be careful that you don't end up like you did in Nordopolica or Mantake. I know. We'll be at the end. All right. Let's be good kids and wait for Uncle Raven at the inn. The town's quiet now, but it could get ugly quick. Yeah, well, we've seen our fair share of ugliness. Not like this we haven't. Do you think Palastrale is just gonna take Bellius's death lying down? The Don's grandson is wrapped up in this too. I guess they can't just let things slide. The guilds sure make a big deal about their rules and settling their scores. Exactly. What a pain. I don't get it at all. We're kind of caught up in this ourselves, you know. Just be ready if things go bad. I know. Okay. Well, we're going to go rest of the inn. And, uh, yeah, next episode, we will go and see the Don and get our questions asked or answered. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.